Speak Student. Arithmetic sequences, a la shmup. Swerving Irving isn't the greatest driver. This morning he cut off the wrong person. Malgris, a certified witch, was none too pleased. To exact her revenge, she decided to put a curse on Irving. Each day for 10 days, Irving would have a certain number of hairs fall out of his eyebrows. The first day, he lost four hairs. The second day, eight hairs. The third day, 12 hairs. The fourth day, 16 hairs, and so on. Because Irving's hairs are leaving him at a consistent rate of four more hairs a day, we can say that we are dealing with an arithmetic sequence. Oh, great. That will help me sleep better at night. In other words, you can always add the same thing to get from one term to the next. So how many eyebrow hairs will Irving lose on day 10? And will he still be able to make his surprised face? To find the 10th term in the sequence, we can use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, where a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, d is the difference between any two terms, and n is the number of the term we want to find. Here we know that a sub 1 is 4, since Irving lost 4 hairs on day 1. We know that d is also 4, because there are 4 more hairs lost each day than the day before. We also know that n is 10, because we want to find the 10th term in the sequence. Plugging in our known variables, we get a sub 10 equals 4 plus 10 minus 1 times 4. Taking care of the stuff in the parentheses first, we get 10 minus 1 equals 9. 9 times 4 is 36, and 4 plus 36 equals 40. So our 10th term is 40. On the 10th and final day of the curse, Irving lost another 40 eyebrow hairs. He isn't completely browless, but it's a bit sparse up there. I'm getting a Rogaine headache. Oh, great. 